Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is my deck collection. All right, so today we're gonna look at my Dan and Dave collection. Call it Dan and Dave, call it Art of Play, call it Art of Magic, whatever you want. I call it the Buck Twins, I call it Dan and Dave, I'm old school. And so we got 23 decks to look at today, 23 decks. Now obviously my deck collection is larger than this, um, but it'd be way too large to look at in one video. It would take like an hour, or, you know, I don't still wanna make a video that large. It'd be much more fun to break it up into these little sections. So today we're gonna look at 23 decks from Dan and Dave, here we go. So obviously my first one is the Ace Fulton uh, Casino deck that's done in the Tobacco Brown. Uh, I love this deck, I love the feel of this deck, I love the simplicity of this deck. I really love simple decks and so uh, this is just, you know, reminds you of old vintage wins, so it's really cool. A little while ago Dan and Dave released the uh, Vintage Aristocrats. So basically what happened was they came across uh, some old stock of Vintage Aristocrats and what they did was they paid to have them reboxed and to put into these new tuck cases. So these are old cards, old vintage cards in new tuck cases. And the tuck cases are gorgeous. Um, they're embossed, they have really cool tuck seals. And of course the cards inside are just as cool. Next up we have the ultimate deck from Stranger and Stranger. Uh, this is a really beautiful, cool tuck case. Uh, the inside of these cards, every single card is completely different and done by a designer um, that you know didn't talk to the other ones. So they all made their own take on a playing card. Uh, it, each of the cards looks really cool individually. I don't know that it looks really great as a set, uh, but the back design is cool, the tuck case is cool. Next up is the Bradley Mountain camping cards that Dan and Dave released on their Art of Play website. Uh, Bradley Mountain is an outdoors website, and so the, uh, Dan and Dave was commissioned to make this deck, and the cool thing about it is it has a match strike on the side. Recently, Dan and Dave released uh, a new version of the Aviator deck. The Aviator deck is a vintage deck, but Dan and Dave gave it a fresh new look. And the Red Wheel playing cards from DKNG. Again, Dan and Dave were hired by DKNG to make this uh, deck for the DKNG line. And it's a beautiful deck. It's a new approach. It's a new take on the classic bike design. And uh, these, are, these are great feeling cards. I also have the Guy Hollingworth Burgundy Edition. Uh, this was the only deck I got uh, from the Guy Hollingworth set because this was the one you could get uh, if you didn't have to purchase something else. Uh, doesn't have a tuck seal, has a very vintage, very classic feel to it. Uh, love Guy Hollingworth, love their collaboration with Dan and Dave. This one's a little strange because it's the Tahoe deck. It's not really a Dan and Dave deck, not really an art of play deck. But a while back, Dan and Dave uh, sold this deck exclusively on their website. There really wasn't any other place you could get it, especially getting the numbered edition. And so not necessarily a Dan and Dave release, but it was an exclusive deck available through Dan and Dave. Next up, the Antler cards designed from Tom Lane. Uh, these are cool because, of course, Dan and Dave, their last name is Buck. And uh, these are designed with deers. And so Buck, deer, you get it. Another vintage release on Dan and Dave are the Steamboats. These are the vintage uh, recreations of the Steamboats, and it does have the D&D uh, logo there on the bottom. The tuck cases were all uh, redone and they're embossed, but it is the vintage classic uh, Steamboat look on the inside. Two more vintage decks that were in that same uh, vein were the Fanbacks, and again, uh, completely vintage recreations, but with brand new tucks, embossing um, all the bells and whistles that you'd expect from a USPCC deck, but with all the beautiful touches of Dan and Dave. The Brad Fulton clip joints, these are cool because they have a really dark uh, look to them. They're decorated with owls and kind of mystic symbols. Uh, it's just a fun deck to have in your collection. The Bruce Lee playing cards, again, it was another commissioned deck. Uh, the Bruce Lee Foundation uh, requested that D&D make this deck and it has the uh, Enter the Dragon back design, the yellow with the black stripe. And each card is inscribed with a famous Bruce Lee quote. Vintage Plaid, I have the green. Um, this is a fan favorite from a lot of people that like D&D cards. Um, I like this, again, simplistic, very uh, elegant, nice tuck case and beautiful handling cards. The Fantastique deck, um, I don't remember how great this one was received. It's really uh, crazy, but it has kind of like a flip look back where you can peel through the backs and they make a little dance. Um, that's the designer right there, Duke. I am not gonna try to pronounce it, uh, but um, it's okay. I got it. I got it because you know it was a Dan and Dave deck and it was a new release. But probably now, if I was to have, do it all over again, I probably wouldn't have gotten this one. This is the deck starter deck that started it all. Uh, this is the promotion deck that Dan and Dave took to um, a convention, and they gave these out. 
as a way for artists to design their own playing cards with deck starter. This is the Revelation deck from Michael Messer. Uh, the reason why it's in this collection is because it is a deck starter deck. And so Dan and Dave um, had a crowdfunding website a little while back called Deck Starter, and this is one of their decks that they released on that platform. The Fulton October deck, um, this was a deck I always wanted but never really picked up, and a friend of mine uh, purchased it for me, and so that was really sweet. Uh, it is a deck devoted to Halloween and the month of October. And lastly, I have two MagicCon decks. So MagicCon is Dan and Dave's uh, convention that they do for cardistry and card magic, and it's held out in San Diego. This one is the 2012 edition. Um, each one of these decks is um, emblazed with a star, and so it's just a different type of star pattern depending on which year you purchase. So I have 2012, and then I have the 2014. The 2014 deck is probably easily one of my favorite decks of all time. Just love the simplicity of it, love the colorings in this. Um, if you get a chance, check out my review for this that I did a while back. All right, so that is my review for my Dan and Dave collection. As always, if you'd like more content, you can find it at magicorthodoxy.com.